First up is Al in Washington, D.C. Hi. Hi, Hank. My wife and I had a debate over Isaiah 45 and 7. I think King James Version says God said that he created evil. Some of the other ones say that he created calamity. I'm trying to get what the best translation for it, and, and how would I try to explain that to her? Yeah, well, the text actually says, I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light, and I create the darkness. I make peace, and I create evil. And of course, the question that that raises up in the minds of so many people is, does that make God the author of evil? And the answer is obviously not. What this is, in terms of a grammatical construction, is an antithetic parallelism. In other words, first light is contrasted with darkness. Then peace is contrasted with its opposite, which is variously rendered evil or calamity or disaster, which ultimately is judgment in response to sin. Now, obviously, God does not create moral evil. Evil is not a substance. It's not an ontological entity in and of itself. It is a lack of good. Again, it is not a substance in and of itself. It is a deprivation of something. Okay. The way I try to explain it is if God has always been around and God has always been good, then there has to be an opposite to that. But I was trying to explain to her that there was no one around to choose sides. So if God has always been good, would that mean that evil or opposite of God has always existed out of the form of a person or a being or just the fact that it's evil? Well, no. Here's what we believe. At least this is what I believe. What I believe is that God created the potential for evil by creating humans with the ability to choose or to choose otherwise. And the very fact that God created people with the potential of choice also creates the possibility of evil. But without volition, there is no such thing as love, because love has to be of the will. Otherwise, it is not genuinely love. So God creates the potential for evil, human beings actualized that evil. But in this sense, again, we're talking about an antithetic parallelism. Light is contrasted with darkness, and peace is contrasted with its opposite. So it's contrasted with calamity, disaster, or evil. And that is ultimately judgment in response to sin in the context of Isaiah 45, 7. So there's no sense whatsoever that God is the author of evil, in my view. Again, there are other persuasions within the Christian community, but I do not believe in any sense this, and I think those that do believe that have a hard time distinguishing God from being evil, therefore. (music) 